Hello, my name is Nathan Wong, and today I would like to talk about one of my favorite video games, Borderlands 2. So we begin the game with Claptrap saving our lives from a train explosion. And it's really cool, and I, I love this kind of startup. It's unique in the sense that it sets up your entire UI element by in-game just giving you an object. See, the echo communicator really helps give an immersive reason for a UI element to be there. So this is where one of my bigger issues with the start of this game goes. There's a lot of walking. And the first time through, it's not bad. It's not as noticeable. However, on subsequent repeats, you get really tired of it. Well done! Your ability to walk short distances without dying will be handsome, Jack! Downfall! And open! Just a little added security. Gotta keep those bully mongs at bay, or they'll rip your eyes out! So, walking into Claptrap's room, this is honestly a really interesting location. And I just like the feel of it's scrapped together. And I'll, there will the be mess. more room show, but keep that in mind watching it. Out. I sound pleased about this. It's only because my programmers made this my default tone of voice. I'm actually quite depressed. Now, the creatures around here are dangerous. None more than this bully mong named Knuckle Dragger. Killed everyone I know. Anywho, I keep a pistol in the cabinet over there for emergencies. But in here, we should be pretty safe. Now we've been introduced to our first real enemy, Knuckle Dragger. We'll be seeing more of him very soon. Congratulations, the first mission of Borderlands 2 is finished. That's pretty unfair to Borderlands 2 though, so let's keep going. Thus begins roaming section number two. Even though Knuckle Dragger blindsided me, with a lot more claptrap running into things. Stick close to the robot. He will help you get off this glacier and into the city of Sanctuary. That is the only place you will be safe. So 
So coming back to Boros 2, I completely forgot that those tutorial messages actually stop time so you can read it. It's kind of annoying. You shoot an ice glacier and claptrap still runs. You'll need that funny little robot's help to reach sanctuary, the last bastion of the resistance against Jack, and the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to sanctuary. Jack here, president of Hyperion. Let me, let me explain how things work here. The Vault Hunters show up, Vault Hunter looks for the new Vault, Vault Hunter gets killed by me. You see, you see the problem here? You're still alive. So if you could just do me a favor and off yourself, that'd be great. Thanks, Pumpkin. Handsome Jack, FYI, is the main villain of Worlds 2. I had some terrible luck here, and I got launched off the map. Um, that actually happened to me the first few times I played this, too. However, I make up for it by completely obliterating the first boss, like, before his second phase even starts. I think one of my biggest gripes with the starting mission is it's very slow. Especially when you realize that level 5 is when you get your special abilities and you get to actually start using your skills. It's very limited. Especially when you realize it's another 20 to 30 minutes well, nice until the time you. I make it to level 5. Not really go. enough time to it show that. Sadly. You're welcome. Perks of being an artificial intelligence. I'm networked into almost everything on this planet. It's a long way to Sanctuary. Please take whatever you need for the journey ahead. So let's summarize after completing mission 2. This starting section is very linear. Claptrap slows down the game for a lot of exposition drops. And skills aren't usable until level 5, which is roughly 20 minutes away. This... it's not a bad start, but you can tell why after multiple playthroughs, it's very slow and makes it hard to replay. We play games like 
Interestingly enough, in future Borderlands titles, they actually changed the skill level to 3, and it made the gameplay a lot faster. Now you're probably wondering why I pause the screen, and that's because I didn't give enough time to appreciate this moment, but this is actually a very nice wow moment, especially after beating the first boss. In such a linear level, it's really nice to see such an open space, because everything you see ahead of you is actually explorable. There isn't much out there, but it's nice. So that's the first 10 minutes of Borderlands 2. Um, thank you for watching.